I have a handful of friends who have more indigenous faith. Uh, they may be from the Caribbean. They don't seem to have the same kind of religious guilt. Is there something that we're missing, not embracing some of our indigenous faith? Indigenous faith. I think the, the connection there is about family and about your ancestors and about the ways in which you look at the earth and all of the things that are in it and how that relates to who you are as a human being. It's a holistic kind of faith. What some of parts of Christianity ask you to do is to dissect yourself from that. Western Christianity is based in Western modes of thought. Those are not African modes of thought. And so when we're talking about how this sort of Western dichotomy about spirit and soul, you know, Soma and Sark, right? All of these things that we're doing disconnect us from the way we are supposed to be connected in nature to each other, to the cosmos, all of these things. And so I think what you know African traditional religions do for people is to give them a more holistic way of looking at the world. The theologies that have been just constructed are theologies that are constructed by mostly white men until we get to somebody like James Cone who talks about black theology. So while I get the critique that people make, Christianity is a white man's religion, it depends on what Christianity you're reading. It is absolutely ridiculous in the middle of a pandemic that everybody is losing their stuff over Lil Nas X because he has decided to be out as he wants to be. And I think that's just fine. Do you think being LGBT is a problem? No, I don't. They do. Okay. I mm -hmm. want to make that. Let me make that perfectly clear. The black church mm. has a problem with homophobia. The black church needs to get over it because they know they would never be able to field the choir. They would never have any programs in their church or anything, but, that, but even more than that, it's not just about that. It's about the acceptance of people when we have been through so much that you want to use sexuality as a way to define whether God loves somebody or not. That's not your call. We have inculcated this white evangelical ideas about sexuality and purity and everything else that makes us bound up, that keeps us in chains and keeps us from realizing the fullness of potential of ourselves and each other when we begin to think about all the things that God could do for us. Yes. And I, I often remind people when you think of, again, indigenous faith, uh, they, they didn't use this language, that, but they believed in gender fluidity. Uh, there was, but they, they didn't use that kind of language then, of course, but that's, it's well documented. It's, mm -hmm. it's well documented.